when you do your body conditioning scoring, you want your sheep to be in a comfortable position. If they've been through the shoots before and are relaxed, that's where you want them. Where you're measuring is it's going to be you with your hand. There's no expensive tools or equipment. All you have to use is your hand. Where you're measuring is from, you find their hip bone, it's front of the hip bone and behind the last rib. Then you use your hand and you feel where the backbone is and then you tip your fingers over the side and feel, and it's like a, a shelf and that's your transverse processes. So you're taking your hand, you're running it along the spine, you're finding the last rib and you're putting your hand over the side and you're feeling thumb from the top of those spines down across to the transverse process. And this is the area that we're measuring for the amount of muscle and fat in that region. Okay, so we come down and we rub it over top. And I've sa I saw this at a conference and I thought it was the greatest thing. If we're using your hand for measurement, let's use your hand for your reference. So if everybody takes their hand and goes like this, now take your measuring hand and you're going to go rub it over top. Now a conditioning scoring system is a five point scale. Number one is emaciated. So if you feel the top of the spine and it feels like this, there's no fat, nothing on either side of it, that's a one. It's emaciated. I call it a bone rack. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, take your knuckles like this. Make a fist. Feel it? So now you have a little bit more coverage. So you actually feel stuff, muscle and a little bit of fat over the side of it. That's your two. That's called a fin. Now take your fist and just gently turn it like this. Feel that. That's our three. Now some of us, I've got chubbier hands, some people have thinner hands, but this is a three so you can feel there is some surface and fat cover and muscle on each side of this spine. So that's your three and that's what you want your sheep to be. You don't want it any thinner than a three. Now let's go to a four, that's your hand flat. I call that the tabletop. You can't Unless you really push, you can feel some bones underneath there, but it's pretty flat. Now a five, turn your hand over. This is your five. You can't feel the spine, and there's actually flesh on each side. That's your five, and that's your obese sheep. So remember, this is the three. You, that's what you're aiming for. So you want it for at lambing time, um, you know, you're working up to a three for at breeding time. So that's what you're looking for. 